asking boy, Melanie Pompi. <laughs> what has your experience learning to drive been like? Hi everyone, how are you doing today? Okay, um, for those consistent friends who keep coming back over and over again, thank you very much. I really appreciate your presence. And if you're new here, if this is your first time, um, you came across this somewhere, I really appreciate you stopping by as well. Today, I'm doing a very off the cuff random thing. I have my friend here, bless and say hi. Hi. <laughs> so the past few weeks we've been working together. I've been working on driving, taking driving lessons, and today is um lessons driving. Um, what's it called? Practice driving, no, test. driving test. So wish us luck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how are you feeling? Well, I feel good. Nervous it's nice to finally get on the road to do it. Yeah, get it out of the way, yeah. right? Do you feel nervous at all? Slightly nervous. Yeah, <laughs> so um, doing this video also to distract her a little bit, so she's not very nervous. I'm gonna just quickly take you through like our final steps. So we're gonna do a quick run through um, the typical uh, route for this. And if you're doing your driving test in Virginia, this is typically wh what you're gonna encounter. You have someone. I'm gonna pretend as the. I'm gonna pretend to be the um, driving test instructor person they just sit beside you and they just give instructions very calm voice they just tell you what to do step by step and then they have a notepad and they are taking things and then they are taking notes to see how well you're doing so that's what i'm going to do now we're just going to do one or two runs last run <laughs> before we do the uh before we actually go inside and then she can do the actual test i'm sure she's gonna do great because um i've been working with her for all this time so right, yeah. <laughs> so she's been doing really well um and we've not even had a lot of time it's been just off and on we're gonna do that last trip now last lap of our practice mm -hmm. before the moment of truth when we <laughs> uh go in for the driving okay. tests all right so whenever you're ready Start the car and we can um, head out. I want you to use that um, exit. Okay. And that means you have to reverse and all the things. All right. So come along with us. Perfect. Is that seat comfortable? It, are you comfortable? Perfect. All right, let's go. When you get to the exit, turn to the right. Actually, when you get to the exit, turn to the left. strange person being beside you while driving so we'll see how you do but don't be nervous okay small nerves is fine it's normal at the stop sign i want to take it right I think you're ready, but yeah. you're ready, right? Okay, yeah. cool. So I wish you the best, but before you go, mm -hmm. what has your experience learning to drive been like? Can you turn it off? Yeah. 
Well, it has been a very beautiful experience, especially with <laughs> my friend. Indeed, she has been so patient with me. Oh my goodness! Aww, I'm gonna because cry. I have been like a pain in the ass. I know. No, you're not. You're not. You're not. It's normal. Um, yeah, I get really nervous, especially when I make mistakes. So I feel, you know, I get kind of scared when I make a mistake, especially on the road. But then she has always been very, very helpful. So. Um, I kind of like this experience. It, helps, it has really helped me to, you know, find ways to navigate and make quick decisions uh, yeah. on the spot, uh -huh. you know, which is really cool. So. And I think something that people need to remember when they're learning to drive is that you make mistakes. It's normal. It's yeah. very, very normal. You should just be just be comfortable with the idea that you will make mistakes. Yeah. But but that's where you have to also be careful about who's teaching you. It has to be someone that has patience and uh -huh. um and because people are nervous when they are driving, if you if someone makes mistakes mistakes and then you panic and you raise your voice, they're just gonna panic more. Yeah. So um that's that's one of the biggest tips I have. What we say is like maybe the hardest thing about learning how to drive? Personally, I would say making the quick decisions when uh -huh. you make a mistake. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's like the difficult part. Uh -huh. What do I do? Oh, I just missed the turn. Oh, what do I do? I'm on the wrong lane. Uh -huh. What do I do next? So that's like pretty it. But and especially because you know that it's mm -hmm. a dangerous situation. Your mistake can yeah, cost can something. So cost. like, you know, that, that's a lot of pressure when mm -hmm. you're trying to like, um, you know, navigate your way out of a wrong turn or something. Yes, yeah. yes. So like I said, um, if you're in Virginia, I, I think it's similar in most places, but I can only speak for the place that I've, I've had experience with. Um, I have, I did my own driver, driving test here, I've worked with, uh, I've worked with others while the DDS like coached and taught a few other people to um, the process to come do their test. So here, basically the instructor is just like sitting beside you and you know, they have a note and they're taking notes of your mistakes. <laughs> and that can be very nerve-wracking uh, when you're driving and you're trying to concentrate on the road and you see the person kind of starts writing something in their notes you're like oh my goodness did I make a mistake or something like that but um so that's just the process because I have re I have found that um demystifying the process or like just helping people know what to expect is one of the ways to like help people um do well on these tests and that's why everybody that I, I teach how to drive I kind of bring them to the route where i know that the dmv uses mostly and then just have them go over and over and over and over and just be familiar with the with the route because it's a lot of pressure you're gonna feel nervous you're gonna be scared you're gonna be afraid but if you know what to expect if you know that oh they're gonna ask me to do this they're gonna say this it kind of helps to calm the nerves down a little bit so that's what we just did now i took our round just one last um one last loop of the of the route that we normally use um that the dmv here where we live i'm using so just to get comfortable and just practice one more time so now ah uh, hour of truth wish her luck as she goes she goes inside to do the paperwork and then um the process is that someone will, will you do the paperwork submit all the documents fill all the forms and then someone will come outside with you and the person will sit with you and take you down and then um, they won't tell you anything until you get back and park and then you go inside and then they, I don't know, decide whatever um, and then they let you know if you passed or not and then after that you do the paperwork to get your license if you passed. And if for some reason you did not pass the first time as well, um, it's very easy. They just ask you to come back. I, I think it's after you've maybe failed three times, maybe three or four times. I'm not sure if that three or four times. It's after you failed three or four times that they would now maybe recommend that you go back to driving school and maybe um, show proof that you've gone back to driving school. But typically, if maybe you made one or two mistakes and they feel like, oh, and it depends on the kind of instructor you get to. Some instructors are kind of like, you know, more lenient than others. So if you get an instructor that's maybe very, very strict and then it decides that, oh, you made one small mistake, then you have to come back. It's not a big deal as well. So if that happens to you, I want you to not feel like, oh, this is the end of the world or this is terrible. It's not. You can always come back. I think after three days and you come back, um, three working days or something there's a small amount of time that you have to put between the last one and the new one so you can always come back and then you do the um do another one and in most cases the second one you would already kind of know what you what the mistake was and then you're able to like pass this other time this next time i think one of the biggest things though that i must mention um is that 
a lot of times um one thing that trips people up is you don't want to go at all in any way above the speed limit right so they're good they have like you know the roads here have speed limits so sometimes it's 25 and other places might be 40. if you are doing a driving test you want to make sure that you do not go above the driving limit i mean the you know speed limit because it, it i think if you go above the speed limit it's almost automatically you know automatic failure so you want to be very careful about that and you want to be very careful also about the stop signs um when you find a stop sign even if you can see that the road is clear and there's no one there you still need to stop and when i say stop you need to come to a full stop not a rolling stop you know that kind of stop where it's like you've slowed down almost to a stop and you just check then like it's a small road no one is here you just keep going that's a strike that's a strike against you so you want to make sure if there's a stop sign you stop all the way and then you resume your driving so that those are two big things i think uh, a few people kind of make mistakes on and it trips them up and i think the last thing that i've noticed or that i've seen in their notes is that um sometimes if you're a new driver you're kind of like so careful that you're almost driving on the shoulder of the road so you want to be careful that um you're not driving on the shoulder of the road and you stay within your lane and just all these normal things that you learn as you're learning how to drive so if you're out there uh, and you are about to take your test or you're thinking of taking a test or you're intimidated by the idea of taking a test and you know getting your driver's license please go do it and just go do it all right um the worst that could happen is that you fail it the first time and then you get it the second time so you're gonna be good all right so i hope this is um a, an encouragement to anybody that's been thinking about you know just getting their license and they've not gotten it i know what it feels like to actually get your license as a full-grown adult <laughs> some of us a few of us were lucky to learn how to drive when we were very young i was not one of those people um and a lot of my friends around me are not one of those people as well so if you're like me if you're like my friends who did not learn how to drive very young um this is um your reminder to go do it hi again i'm back i just realized that um the other video ended rather abruptly <laughs> we had to run back inside to go do stuff um and then had to run out and go find um some additional paperwork blessing out so you know dmv at this point it's like they come up with new rules every every other market day <laughs> so we had to go look, try and find or try and get some paperwork to so she could finish her so blessing could finish her um, driving test unfortunately um the paperwork that we had to go try and get would take a few days to be done to be processed and everything before so she would have to come back um bring bring the paperwork and come back and do the um driving test which means that we cannot finish this video today we're gonna have to do a second part where I, because I really want her to share experience um, with um, experience with the instructor. Um, we're doing the test and everything, and and you know just just personal reflections um, from when she started learning to the full circle moment of actually going to take the test. So maybe that would come up in another another video in the meantime we're gonna go play some pickleball which i've never played before um this is my first time so we'll see how that goes and i i don't expect to be great at it but at this point we all know that we all know that i love trying new things trying new experiences so let's go see how i do at pickleball
daddy. something a new skill I am still terrible at it but we're gonna get it one of my coaches <laughs> and that's the team one two three four and us and us I think it's actually much more fun than um, lawn tennis in my opinion I feel like this is much more laid back thank you I feel like this is much more laid back so I'm totally going to be coming back for another round hopefully by the next time I'll be much better than this and um, I'll stop missing so many balls but for the first time that was a solid experience all right bye